Who's you stupid fool? Did you really think you were hitting me? Huh? Bam, bam, bam! Over. Dante's Box Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, I remember back in 2015, I was interviewing Freddie Roach. Uh, we were promoting the Mayweather versus Pacquiao fight. And I asked Freddie Roach, I said, who will the torch be passed down to after Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao are not here? And he immediately said, that kid from Texas, what's his name? And I said, you mean Errol Spence? He said, yeah, that guy. He started talking about watching Errol Spence spar. He confirmed that Errol Spence had stopped Adrian Broner because he said he was there. He watched it. He was really impressed with everything that he's seen when it came to Errol Spence. And that's a hell of an endorsement from Freddie Roach because he could have easily said, oh, the torch is going to be passed down to Gennady Golovkin or Canelo Alvarez because that's what the media was pushing but that's not what Freddie Roach said. So now you fast forward to present day, and it could be argued that Errol Spencer's top three pound for pound, one of the best fighters in the world, and close to becoming the undisputed pound for pound number one fighter in the world. Keep in mind, I say undisputed because that's a big difference. The last undisputed pound for pound champions we had was Andre Ward. And before Andre Ward, it was Floyd Mayweather. Nobody would dispute that Floyd Mayweather and Andre Ward were number one pound for pound the best fighters in the world. And that's what Errol Spence is aiming for. But now on top of all of that, it's official that Errol Spence is one of the biggest pay-per-view stars in the sport of boxing. Because it's just been reported that the projected numbers that uh, Errol Spence versus Sean Porter is going to do is roughly 350 to 375,000 pay-per-views. Considering the fact that Errol Spence was fighting against Sean Porter, he wasn't in there with Floyd Mayweather, with Manny Pacquiao, with a Canelo Alvarez, those are good numbers. Especially when you also consider the fact that it was only about two years ago that nobody even wanted to give Errol Spence a chance to become a star. So it was hard to believe that he would even become a star because he probably wouldn't get the fights that he needs to catapult him to that status. You have to understand, when you're on a coincidental list, you're already starting with a deficit because you don't have that type of push by the media. They're not hyping you as the next big superstar. They did this for Gennady Golovkin. They did this for Canelo Alvarez. The boxing media and the boxing world, they never hyped up Errol Spence as the next big superstar. And that is what makes these numbers even more impressive. When Errol Spence fought Mikey Garcia, of course, you have Mikey Garcia fans trying to take the credit for the success of that card. But now you have Errol Spence in a card that did not include a Mexican fighter with a built-in Mexican fan base. And the projected pay-per-view numbers for this Porter fight is actually better than the Mikey Garcia fight. But even if the numbers were around the same, it still shows a consistency when it comes to the success of Errol Spence. Now, Manny Pacquiao, he did 500,000 pay-per-views when he fought against Keith Thurman, but he's Manny Pacquiao. You know, Errol Spence, he hasn't been fighting as a pro for 20 years. He hasn't been in the ring with the likes of Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, these are the type of pay-per-view numbers that Floyd Mayweather used to get when he first started doing pay-per-view fights. But we know that if Errol Spence were to get that Manny Pacquiao fight, and now I really see why Errol Spence really is looking for that fight. Because with Errol Spence and Manny Pacquiao being the two biggest pay-per-view stars in the welterweight division, that fight has the potential to do damn near a million pay-per-view buys. And that would speak volumes. I mean, even if it did 800,000, that would be big. But you know what they say, money talks. And I'm telling you right now, I think Manny Pacquiao is starting to listen to the money. I'm not guaranteeing that Manny Pacquiao will take that Errol Spence fight, but there's a lot of money to make. And that's why I made a video about it, I think a couple days ago or last week, even uh, Errol Spence, he said that the Manny Pacquiao fight will happen for sure because there's just too much money to make. So his exact words was, the fight will definitely happen next year. 
And you got to keep in mind, Manny Pacquiao is looking like a 23-year-old Manny Pacquiao. I mean, he just dominated, or at least he beat him with no controversy, a 31-year-old uh, Keith Thurman who was undefeated. And if he goes in there and he beats Mikey Garcia, because that's the fight they're talking about making, you know, his confidence is going to be through the roof. I mean, it already is, but it will continue to soar. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, but there's no doubt about it. Errol Spence has come a long way, guys. A guy that no one wanted to fight. Now, all of a sudden, he's one of the biggest pay-per-view stars in the sport of boxing. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Thank you.